Hey guys, hope you're doing amazing today. Just want to share a couple more quick thoughts with you about speaking life. You know, Jesus said that up from our bellies will flow rivers of living water, living water. When you talk about the throne of God and how there's a living river or a river of living water that flows forth, forth from his throne. Now that begins as a trickle at the threshold, but it becomes deeper and wider as it goes forth. So the point of my, what I'm saying is, is that there's living waters that come forth from us and that stream that comes forth out of the throne of God. When it gets to the end of that stream, you see it goes to the Dead Sea and there's life abundantly coming around it because the rivers of living water produce life. There's life that comes forth all around you when living waters come forth from you because that's the nature of living waters. They bring forth life. You see this with the woman at the well when God, when Jesus is talking to her and life comes forth out of her. Yes, he's able to give her uh, a prophetic word that says, this is who you are. This is where you are. But you also see that stream of life and living water coming forth from uh, Zacharias when he's up in the tree and Jesus says, hey, come down. It's time for me to go to your crib. And that dude, he is so touched by the goodness of God and the living waters that flow forth from Jesus that he immediately repents and says, hey, look, if I've ever taken anything from anybody from this moment on, I'll give them back 10 times more than I, I mean, four times more than I've ever took. And you got to think about the impact that that had on an entire community when he actually went the next day and started handing back four times more what he ever took from every individual. That's the living waters flowing. You got to keep in mind that Jesus rebuked two, two main people. One was the Pharisees and Sadducees. Those people, he rebuked them. So we don't go around just trying to rebuke everybody and do all of that because they're in sin, because that's not the model. And he also corrected or rebuked the people that lacked faith, the people that were his disciples. Yeah, you have little faith, right? So those are two people that Jesus, now did he go, would he have corrected people and instructed them in righteousness? Of course, that's why one of the things that he said was out of the heart flows these things, evil, evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, all of those things. He has a list of stuff that he mentions because he will correct and instruct in righteousness, but he's not going around just condemning and judging people because living water is what's flowing from him. Do you hear what I'm saying? Rivers of living water. The mouth of the righteous is a well of life. Be blessed, y'all.